Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're talking about knives that you wouldn't think are as good as they are. So knives that are actually surprisingly really, really good, but you might not think so. So, starting the list off, we have the Tucson TS305. Oh yeah, talking about Tucson really quick, there's eight TS223s available right now in the United States, so you do not have to wait four or five weeks to re receive it if you order now. I will have a link down in the description. Like I said, there's only eight of them as far as I know in the United States right now, but you can get them pretty quickly if you order using the link down in the description. The rest of them are probably going to be overseas, so you'd have to get them pretty quick, but this is my favorite Tucson. Um, I think it's in the best Tucson made so, you know, yeah, there is that. If you want to get one fast, then there you go. So, the Tucson TS305. It has somewhat of an upswept blade. Even though it's not a, a Persian or anything like that, it's upswept by the edge. Which does make it look a little awkward. It makes it look a little weird. However, in practice, this is one of the most ergonomic handles you can imagine. So neutral, contoured. It's a titanium frame lock with beautiful carbon fiber over the top of it and it is so comfortable it doesn't matter what or how you are holding it it is comfortable now the blade is 14c on this version but the new ones or the ones you can get right now are m390 and the action because it's a long knife which is another reason why people might not think it's as good as it is because it is a very long knife you angle it sideways when you want to deploy it which makes the deployment very very nice now some people kind of fumble with it because they tend to try to flick it like this rather than just angling it which works great. And the front flipper is exactly the way you want a front flipper to be, the exact type of jimping you want, and it is nice and grippy. The jimping goes all the way around the front flipper, and yeah, what a great front flipper. It works great. Good access to the lock bar, very, very smooth on the drop, and it almost looks like an Integral because of its sandwich construction, but yeah, in practice, this knife actually cuts really good and it works as a great knife. It just has a little bit of an awkward look to it and the blade, you know, it kind of feels a little awkward because it upsweeps a little bit, but in practice, it's great. Next, the Kaiser Roach. Now, this is not the original one. The original one was a titanium frame lock. You might know the Mini Roach, which is a very, very popular knife and there's a reason why. Beautiful spear point blade with a nice deep hollow grind. This thing has amazing, amazing cutting geometry, perfect sharpening twill, great ergos, and it has a removable flipper tab that I have mine removed from and works great. The action is amazing. There's a reason why this knife is so popular. It's a great knife, but this is where it came from. So the original one was a titanium frame lock. Then there was this one and you can get these still. This is the Kaiser Roach, the full size Roach. This one's an N690 steel and beautiful beautiful micarta this is really really good quality micarta nice and supple very soft now the reason why you might not think that this is as good as it is is just because it kind of looks a little how can i say it? it's big bulky and it looks like it's trying to put you into weird grips but in practice this thing is a utility cutting beast very comfortable the way this angles down it is so comfortable in the hand and then to do slicing and cutting you have such good ergos it's almost like you're holding a fixed blade when you're breaking things down and cutting things so it is in practice a fantastic user this is a great work knife now the action is straight guillotine really really good action great flipping action nice big flipper tab so yeah lots of leverage on that deep carry clip that does have a little t a little roach on it a roach clip <laughs> but anyways yeah it, this thing is an awesome awesome knife and if you didn't even know it existed because a lot of you know about the mini but some of you might not know about the big one next is the kubi ku122 now this one it's a little ugly. However, this is such a useful knife. I cannot, I cannot express that enough. It is extremely, extremely useful. So I have a full review on this if you want to check it out. But this thing is, well, look at the blade. The blade is somewhat of a leaf-shaped blade, but look, the tip is so acute. It is an absolute laser beam. I mean, this is one of the best utility cutters I have in my collection. So I can look at it and see that this thing is going to be useful by the blade shape and just the way it is. But a lot of people look at it and they're like, "This it's kind of ugly, right? 
well, sometimes great things, you know, don't look the best, right? And in this case, I think it looks cool, but maybe you don't. I think a lot of people pass it up not realizing how damn good of a knife it is. It is ergonomic too, even though it's not a big knife. You can't get a full grip. It slices really good. Beautiful geometry. It's very thin behind the edge. So it slices really good. You can turn around and cut straps. But the pinch grips, that is where it is at. This one's in D2 steel, but I think it comes in different steels. And the hole deployment is so, so good. It's so easy to get to, so you can slow roll it, thumb flick it, or reverse flick it. They're all equally as good. Damn, damn good knife. Next is somewhat of a new knife. This is the, the Nest Street, the Concept Nest Street. Now, it's kind of reminiscent of a Nesmuk knife, but looking at it, personally me, I think it looks ugly. I, I would totally look past this thing if I seen it, not realizing how ergonomic it is and how functional this blade shape is. This is a blade shape that's going to work great for a lot of, um, a lot of EDC tasks. So functioning as a tool, it is amazing. But looking at it, it is ugly. <laughs> Thumb stud action. S35 VN blade steel, burlap micarta scales, deep carry clip. Yeah, I wish they put flat screws there, but there is no flat screws, but it does work good. Good access to the lock bar, very smooth on the drop. The detent is solid. And yeah, like I said, as a functioning tool, it works great, but damn it, is it ugly. Next. Next is actually, I'm going to bring up two knives. And the reason why is because this is the one I picked. But I know some people aren't big fans of Tontos, even though I think some Tontos are extremely, extremely useful. And if you got one and if you used it, 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 it works so good. You got this secondary tip that makes it to where you can open things up. You basically have two tips to work with. And in some cases, they, they slice really, really good. So this one is the S. S1. This is the Squidward, but they're almost the same knife. Just this one's with a drop point and this one is with a Tonto. So that's the reason why I'm bringing up the Squidward is just because I know a lot of people might prefer the drop point over the Tonto and they are basically the exact same. The front flipper is one of the easiest front flippers to use. It is so, so, so easy. You can use it like a regular flipper because it's a liner lock or you can do a regular front flip. But the jipping's perfect. The the, the amount of uh, tension from the detent is perfect. Everything about this front flipper is exactly how you want it. You can even slow roll it all the way around. So very, very cool. Good access to lock bar. Stupid, stupid smooth. But this one is the one I think is a little bit better just because of this secondary tip. And looking at it, you'd think, man, that thing, it's too slim. It's too little. You know, how good could it be? One deployment option. But the deployment option it does have is so, so snappy. And ergonomically, it is nice and comfortable in the hand. And it's a pinch grip knife, in my opinion. But you can reverse it. You can go forward. You can do, basically, you can get up nice and tight to the, to the edges or the tip to, to do utility cuts and things. And in practice, man, this thing is so useful. It's actually a great little light duty EDC that I didn't expect to be so good. Now the drop point version does have thicker geometry and that's another reason why I like this one better. This one does have thicker geometry than this one, but they're basically the same knife. One's a, a drop point, one is a Tonto, and I think that this one definitely gets overlooked. Next, the Best Tech Titan. Now this one, Surprised the heck out of me. I think it is very, very well done, even though it, you know, it's not a knife that appeals to a lot of people because it's, because it's a Tonto, right? But extremely useful Tonto. This is a nice acute tip. It's going to open things up really, really nicely. This front edge you can use as a scraper, maybe even a light duty pry bar. I'm not telling you to pry with your knives, but you can do it. D2 steel and the lock bar access is really good. And then look at how smooth this thing is. You don't expect this thing to be as smooth as it is, but the Ergos, nice and comfortable in the hand, deep carry clip that is inset with flat screws, not reversible, but it's just, you know, it's kind of a knife that you would totally pass up and not even think twice about 
you know, but if you held it in your hand and you actually used it, you'd realize like, man, that, that's a really good knife. You know, it slices good. It opens things up good. It has this blade shape that's actually a lot more functional than some people give this blade shape credit for. But anyways, yeah, what a great little knife. One more, which is the ST or the Sativian ST126. Now, this would get passed up because of the price tag. It is extremely, extremely affordable. Yeah, look at this action. This thing has full shut action on its ceramic cage bearings. I think it's ceramic. It might be steel, but they have it does have caged bearings and D2 steel. Good access to the lock bar. This is the JG10 one, but there is different colors. This one's just the JG10 one. I'd prefer it to be black or a different color, but they do have those. Um, the action and detent is perfection. Even the reverse flicking hole is really good, but... You wouldn't think it is as well done as it is for the a little over $20 price tag that it has. Now, you know, I can't speak to the heat treat being really good or anything like that, but as a beater knife, it works really good and it has action of what you expect from a much, much, much more premium knife. And yeah, yeah just a solid, solid knife. So there you guys go. Just a few knives that I think don't get enough credit or that I think are maybe a little bit better than you might expect. Peace.